So, so some potential suitors, can I use those lines on you? Um, absolutely not. No. You can. <laughs> nope, I'd say goodbye. I, what's a, what's a good way of turning somebody down in a good Christian way? How do you, how do you do that? How to turn somebody down? I'm flattered, but I'm gonna go a different direction. <laughs> I'm gonna wow. pray. Let me pray about it. <laughs> let, me pray. Yeah, let me pray about it. Get thee behind me. <laughs> Get behind me. <laughs> this is delusions. Yeah, let's go. The podcast where we dive deep into the convergence of ideas. We're excited to take you on a journey through the flood of discussion on topics ranging from culture, faith, politics, and everything in between. Each week, we'll bring banter with new perspectives, interesting guests, and lively conversation that will challenge and inspire you. Join us as we explore the deluge of ideas and find the common ground that brings us all together. Here on Delugents, here is your host on deck from the podcast layer, Phil Ville. Welcome, welcome from the Central California, the Bible Belt of Cal of California. Yeah. That's where at, right? <laughs> I mean, California. I'll be not in Texas, not in New York. But happy birthday to those who have a birthday. Uh, and I, you know, I forgot whose birthday. Whose no. birthday are you saying? Birthday, is it? Hey, happy birthday Somebody's to birthday uh, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. <laughs> happy George birthday. Washington. That's that's today's is, is what? it President's Day? President's Day. Today's it President's is. Day. As we're what recording. Mm-hmm. What does it's, President's Day mean? Uh, I assume we have a the, teacher. Yeah, it celebrates um, the George Washington. Last week was Abraham Lincoln. Today is George Washington. Wow, his birthday. Yeah, we wow. don't we don't Today. acknowledge some presidents, so. Uh, but we acknowledge Abraham Lincoln and George Washington. <laughs> yes, we do. It sounded Very like you good. said Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Abraham. <laughs> Abraham. 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 <laughs> well, again, welcome here. We're here at Delusions episode number nine. Wow. All right. Yes, give it up wow. for number nine. We're yeah. almost at 10. Wow. Wild. We, have, we gotta do something for number 10, something special. So yeah. have, what you got an idea for that? Uh, no, but I you absolutely agree. Uh, no, but I can make coffee. <laughs> Ooh, cook. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, welcome, uh, Beth. Uh, she's the first one up here on Hello. chair number chair, yeah. share, share number two. Yay. Uh, share? Yes. Share? Did you share? Say share? Share? You know, share. if the family grew Abraham. up. Abraham. I will share. share. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I won't say what family member I, but I did grow up in the household. You know, we sit, sit in the share and the share. Uh, we're going to get the get the chain on you or no, Share and chains. That's a Mexican Essex. thing, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, my mom is. still says chicken. <laughs> oh my I'm like, mom. I work on this ch- ch- chicken. I said that. I said chicken. <laughs> and she's not even like like that, like Mexican Mexican. She just yes. she just oh can't say God. it. Well, it's, it's good. Okay. It's good. And you know what? And we and Bethany is now officially part of us. So she's on rotation wow. here. Oh, so wow. again for Bethany. This is her yeah. third time, right? Third yeah, I think so. A third wow. time. Mm-hmm. And we have a first timer here. All right, we got him straight from. Uh, he's now a part of the HR department. Wow. Yes, HR department, and HR. he will. It's Vince. Say your last name for me. Trio. Trio. All right, give it up for Vince. Trio. All right, there we go. Yes. Yes. All right. yes. yes. Now I say HR because that's what you do for a living, right? That is correct. Yeah. So I do employee and labor relations. So basically, uh, I'm the guy that fires everybody. Damn. So we'll find wow. you. We'll Rough. Get to senior rep is what it comes down Dang. to. Is that's it the that's worst real. relationship that's ever, bro? <laughs> <laughs> relations, that's like the end of the relationship oh when they gosh. see you. So delusions has Power. HR, so we gotta be real Man. careful. Okay, so absolutely, yeah. So I'm also here doing quality control, ensuring that you know everything stays within reasonable limits. You know, so reasonable I'll limits. Talk, I'll be talking to everybody individually after oh. and- censorship. Okay, yeah. you're the censorship police. I quit. Oh my god, <laughs> I quit. I'm I quit. I'm out. Uh, hey, you can't buy me if I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still mail you the paperwork. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, I, I had a little bit of a, a, a background check on you because you're at HR. So you know, something. You know, anything else you want? Anything else you want to share about what you? You know, a little bit about you. I would like to, but it'd be a HIPAA violation, so I couldn't actually. Oh, HIPAA. HIPAA. Hey. Okay, well, yeah. it's really HR, bro. It's respect HIPAA. It's really we about that line. Wow. That's okay. Right. Well, I do have uh, some some breaking news from the background check that we did, and mm. and I won't say that who shared this. <laughs> something that's uh, CIA that happens that you do every night, I guess, before you go to bed. Uh, it's. These are my confessions. <laughs> Whoa! Curious. So you really you have a, a a phobia, but you need to make sure you, not, you before you go to bed is when you put deodorant on, and when, before you go to bed you put cologne on and uh-huh. body spray and all that. It's, 
Is Absolutely. That? So, see, during the day, <laughs> it's pointless. Working from home, I don't sweat. At night is when I do it. You know, at night, yeah. I want to be prepared. So when I sleep, I know I'm just, I'm comfortable. I'm already <laughs> just done everything I need to do. So uh, in the morning, you get up, you just carry on, go about your day. <laughs> Aaron is thinking about something right now. <laughs> Is that the Aaron music? is like, I've been doing it wrong my whole, you know, my whole life. I've had it wrong this whole time. Hey, that makes sense. Okay. Sometimes you go to sleep and you're still, you didn't take a shower. Oh. You know what I mean? You lay down in your bed and you're like, you carry everything. Yep. Everything from the I mean, you bed. change your clothes, but it's like, you still got that little <laughs> HR sweat. <laughs> HR sweat. <laughs> from all the firing, from right? The firing. So, so firing. you get fresh okay. before you get into your bed. Bro, that okay. makes sense, bro. Yeah. And a little cologne. Yeah. Hey, might not. It might. Uh, it won't hurt. A t- you know what I mean? Bow wow. Oh, uh, hey, right. bro. Hey, <laughs> take it easy, man. Right. Valentine. Valentine. Oh my gosh. Wow. Let's start all down. Let's play this. Wow. And I don't see nothing wrong, <laughs> but my body oh, with God. a little Bible time. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> Bible time. Bible, Bible time. Me no, but my body uh, saying yes. Bible yeah, that's time. right. Okay. Okay. And oh my word. Speaking of music. Dun, 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 dun. What's who's that? Uh, sure. Like, yeah, somebody is a big fan here, and here's Aaron Martinez, the number one fan for Usher. That's we have some fun. B-roll going here. Look, you see him; he's getting excited here on the screen. You can see he's getting really excited at the Super Bowl oh. that happened not too hey. long ago. Yeah, he's him, him, and many others are just just going crazy. And uh, <laughs> what was that experience like for you? Um, it, it took me back to junior high, okay. early high school. Mm-hmm. You know, wanted to call a few exes. You know. Don't do it, <laughs> oh, Whoa, Don't okay. Do it. This, really this took him back. Some confessions, really, bad. right here. Okay. You got it bad, fine. Real bad. You got it, you got it bad. <laughs> <laughs> you you know, uh, oh, my gosh. There, there was an outreach. You know how a lot of churches have Super Bowl parties. They have they, they may, maybe censor the halftime show because you never know what might happen. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. You know, like back in... <clears throat> yeah, now with the yeah, wardrobe, yeah. Whoa. Mm-hmm. And uh, so an interesting... I saw this here. You guys may have seen this here, but there was a pastor who did an outreach. Pastor recreates Miley Cyrus wrecking ball no. moment for no. Super Bowl themed church no. service halftime show. Oh yes, I, he went all out. You hey. know what? And this only on delusions. We'll play that here. Hey, check it out, though. Look at the girl in the background with her hands wide open. <laughs> <laughs> she is really worshiping the Lord. Uh, here we go. On. Okay. Bro, that's some strong cable. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Is he singing that? Or Okay. Well they had Usher, A C D C Toby Keith and a pastor recreating of course, you can see it there, the wrecking ball song. Uh, moment, I don't know how they, they tied the gospel to it. So, I mean, did he go over, go too far or was it uh, very creative? Uh, Omar, is that something you would do at your oh, church? I don't know what's going on in Ohio. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would I recreate that? Absolutely not. <laughs> I, was, I don't know, bro. I got strong opinions. But <laughs> you got strong opinions? Well, but, okay, uh, we, that's what we're here for. Nah, you know? it's, you okay. Know what I mean. All right. Wait, you, we ain't in that segment yet. Oh, we're not in that segment yet. Okay. Uh, Aaron, since you're really excited about the, the halftime show, any uh, you know, um, thoughts on it? No. No, yes, I have no words. You take my breath away. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the PK now. The PK, your thoughts? Hey. Uh, would this happen? No, it would not happen at at church there. No, uh, it would not. I don't know. It it's funny, but I just feel like sometimes churches are just taking a little bit too far. It's a like, bit too get, far. Get yes. creative on your own. You know, we have a saying in our household. What's that? We what? say, "Do less, God bless." You know what I mean? We just like. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. Okay. I don't know, bro. That's just because oh. all you can think about is old Miley on the wrecking ball, little Cochina. 
Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, of course, okay. Janita, Miley. They were like <laughs> ACDC. Yeah. Come on. ACDC got no place on the church like that. Those fools roll Hell's Bells, Bells yeah. you know, Highway to Hell. And you got mm-hmm. ACDC on the worship song. Get me the a past- break. Yeah. The pastor himself swinging on that ball right there. Uh, our first timer, Vince. What do you think? Will that be? <laughs> what, but have you done that? I have not. You know, I've been uh, asked a few times, but. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I had to say no hey. um would i allow that or do i think it's appropriate no not you know, yeah uh, well i'm i'm mixed because i do come from a, a church that was very edgy and things that they did however they i don't think they would do that i mean we had i remember uh pastor we're at omar it's very familiar we came from that same church is that they actually had a a uh, a sunday outreach called porn sunday like, whoa, it's a very edgy title, but, you know, he reached out. Or when uh, he had Marilyn Manson, uh, Marilyn Manson. I wasn't there outreach. for that outreach. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, but they weren't like, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, this is different. They're doing the concert on stage. They weren't doing the explicit. I, they, I'm sure there was the catch. You know what I mean? There was like, the oh. catch. There's the, there's the bait. But, uh, I, you know, there there is lines. I We all have we all have lines. But uh, we've seen some prominent mega pastor pastor's messages really cross the line and cussing and and doing some things and and provocative dancing uh showing a lot of different you know people's business and stuff like that we you know there is i think a line of modesty a line but you know creativity i mean people say like we're kind of like i don't know we're full of nonsense here this is a christian podcast uh and we're like talking about miley cyrus but anyways <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you know speaking of edgy i know I know we had some edgy out event Disney outreaches taking place. You ever heard of a viral video that went went viral? I see that. Approaching. We're gonna help it go to the million views, maybe six million, right? Is uh well here it is. Disney Christians. We're Disney Christians. Of course we pray before we eat our churros. Lord, let this be nourishing to our body. We're Disney Christians. Of course we plead the blood of Jesus inside of Haunted Mansion. That's why you got shut down. We're Disney Christians. It's not about the Magic Kingdom. It's about his kingdom. We're Disney Christians. We don't look into the forbidden eye. We look into the eyes of the Lord. Hey, we're Disney Christians. We can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. We're Disney Christians. Of course we notice the hell scene on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, and that's the only time we're ever going to see hell. We're Disney Christians. I don't go into the Valley of the Well. I learned from Jonah. We're Disney Christians. Of course we're going to evangelize down Main Street. Excuse me. Can I talk to you about my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? <laughs> Give it up for Omar and yeah. 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 It was so good that you got to share with a little bit of that story of what happened that day. Another couple saw you too. Just share what that, you get a lot of traction oh, out there. Yeah, no, it's almost at it's like at seven hundred and almost almost seven hundred and fifty thousand. Well, when this airs, it'll probably be over seven fifty. Yes, go. Um, it's like at seven forty something right now. Um, and there's a lot of comments. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I was up at one night reading a lot of those. <laughs> Very entertaining. Uh, yeah, it's uh, that's half the that's half the fun of the real. <laughs> no, I mean we just okay. We're coming back home from a training. We went out to Phoenix, and we have passes for Disneyland. So I was like, well, let's just stop by. That you know what I mean? Like it yeah. makes sense. And it's a long drive from Phoenix to Merced. So we stayed in Anaheim. We went the next morning, and you know what's funny is that that morning even um, we were getting to catch the bus to the to the park and we missed it and there was a uh, two girls two ladies other they're probably our age too yeah two very young adults <laughs> um, <laughs> and i'm like oh did the bus come by they're like yeah you just missed it we're gonna take an uber and they're like you guys want to take the uber with us we're like heck yeah let's do it we'll jump in there and so um whatever we try to give them some money or like hey go buy a churro or something on us thank you for you know so we go about our day my friend that I went to Bible college with sent me a reel about like, oh, you guys at Disney should do this reel. And it says, and the one, and the original reel was like, oh, we're uh, Disney adults. And he, of course, we're going to any trips and falls. And I told, I told my wife, I said, I'm not going to fall. I said, let's do something else. Like, <laughs> let's do like, oh, we're Disney Christians, you know, like things yeah. that Christians do at Disneyland mm-hmm. or, you know, just goofy things, whatever. Mm-hmm. Honestly, like we made all that up on the spot we, we weren't like running around we we're still riding rides eating snacks and like oh we should do this okay let's record it real quick we sat down on the bench 
And we watched the little flag ceremony that they do. Yeah. I edit it in like, you know, took me like five minutes maybe to edit it mm-hmm. and uh, posted it. And that's it. And and they and saw then, you right away, right? <laughs> it started it started getting some traction. Like, mm-hmm. you know, obviously all your friends and everyone sees it. Mm-hmm. And then you start seeing like, okay, this has got like a thousand views or already. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, it's got, man, it's got like 5,000 views. This is weird. Like, and then, you know, <laughs> wow. and uh, yeah, then you start and you get all, like every, all your friends comments and stuff pop in real quick. And then I was like, babe, I said, it's going to get ugly. It did, I said, uh, just watch. Yep. I said, the comments are going to get worse. It's going to push it out like to the, to the edges of the internet. And sure enough, they started um, coming in. You just got to handle it. If like, I'll just tell people if you don't have the stomach for um, just rudeness or just vile yeah. things, like it doesn't matter how tongue in cheek you are about it and how obvious it is. Like we're not really chasing people down Main Street trying to talk about Jesus. Like yeah. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Like you know, um, but it's just you know it's just fun. Yeah, but people just take it too far. But <laughs> I have fun with it in the comments sometimes. So I like to do my you, thing. You know, I you you really. D- Disarm people. You they're looking for a fight and you say the right thing and no, you're just like, okay, that's cool. Oh, I had a guy message me and he was just like, Hey man, I'm sorry. A private message. He's like, Hey man, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't mean to like offend or anything like that. You seem like a cool guy. He goes, I'm actually Jewish and whatever, yada yada. And it was cool. And he's like, So sorry again if I was offensive. And I was just like, dude, it's cool, man. I'm not gonna go fight with people on the online or whatever. <laughs> like, I don't know you. <laughs> like just, and so I just delete the comments or block them or yeah. whatever it is. And it's just move on. Some people are just mm-hmm. like, Oh, we need to kill like seriously, somebody said we need to kill more evangelicals. Whoa. Wow. Okay. And I was just like, Yeah, serious. Yeah. We're quoting somebody. That's not us saying that. Yeah, I know. So somebody YouTube. commented, yeah. we need to kill or somebody else, somebody else commented, I'm gonna pray that ride malfunctions and decapitates you too. Okay, final destination. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. I was just like, dang, hey, I'm oh going to gosh, heaven. I RIP, but I'm I'll see you guys soon. I didn't got a churro. Huh? I didn't see it's a churro before. All right, bro. I was just like, hey, <laughs> let me get this churro down. <laughs> So you're gonna have a part two probably coming out sometime soon. No, I don't. A trilogy? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, dude. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, we didn't even do the most controversial take. <laughs> oh, oh, outtakes more. now. Okay, oh, watch dude. out. Oh, on one of the, it's so funny though. On the trail run, yeah, I was just like, "What is the Christians? Of course you pray before we eat." And I just ate it, and I was just like, "Oh, dang it!" I said, "I didn't even pray," <laughs> and like. And I'm actually holding the bottom of the churro where the bite is from the bottom of it. So like you'll actually <laughs> see it. Like, I'll hilarious. send you that. I'll send it to you. And oh, you can whoa, see it. okay. A little behind the scenes. Exclusive scene. here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Be real. Oh, all right. So uh, anything else on that one? No, nah, man. I don't know. Unless you got more okay. questions. Hey. Okay. Yeah, it's I, boy. Let's we get into a million. We got a star here. Omar from the OF. And Aaron, you're, you're bantering a little bit online with him. Any comments on Omar's? Uh, I'm going to start answering some people for sure. <laughs> wow, he's, gonna, okay. he's gonna poke the bear on that. Hey, okay. look at, let me just say this. If you're a Christian and you like the video, if you thought it was kind of funny, just go drop a little comment because it just helps out. It you does. know what I mean? Yeah, it it helps out because, because all, you know what I mean? Like you'll see who likes it and you'll like, oh, let me, who is this person? You click it. They have a little scripture, you know? Yeah. Okay. At least that person's a Christian. You know yeah. what I mean? And then it's just like, well, drop a comment, say something nice. Nice. It yeah. helps. It helps. Speaking of help, mm-hmm. how can they help us here on Delugent? Yeah. Speaking of help, yeah. how can they help well, us on Delugent? Yeah. You know, if you guys really like Delugent, <laughs> <laughs> you guys can <get> <laughs> like, follow, <laughs> whatever platform there is, we're on it, okay? You want to get on Facebook, go on Facebook, like us, follow us, subscribe to us. You're on YouTube, hey, like, subscribe, comment, do all that thing. Instagram, uh, Twitter, you on Twitter yet? Yes, X, we are. Twitter. We're on X. Bam. X, yeah. Hey, go on X. Don't talk to your ex. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everything that is. Hey, I don't know. Are we on? Uh, where else are we? Uh, on that we're I on guess? Rumble. Rumble. Hey, Rumble. Get on Rumble. Do yes. your thing. Go that share it. Rumble. Like it. That's how you can support us. We're small creators. Yeah. Uh, so, one of our recent episodes, I think we're at 14,000. The other one, as this time this is dropped, there'll be another one. We're praying that one goes up. Uh, Pretty, pretty and how many too. subscribers we got on YouTube? Oh, I think we're at over six thousand. Let's go, yeah. bro! We said two point five or yeah, three thousand yeah, last time. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's 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 all God, you know, because 
they could cancel us at any time. Yeah. Or shadow ban us. We don't want that. Yeah. But you know what time it is? It's time for Source from Around the Web for your delight. Here's your memes and clips of the week. Today we have Aaron versus Omar. Thank now, you. yes. So we did not uh, include his viral video because that would have been not fair, but you know, <laughs> we'll give you that win off, off, off. Everyone's camera, already but, seen that one. Yeah, everybody's seen, <laughs> that, one. seen that one. Okay, so uh, we're gonna have. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna have. We we'll have Omar go first this time. Okay, hey, real quick. Yes. All right. We just came out of Valentine's Day, so my Dang, motif this he's week. Coming with the plan. My motif is uh, mm-hmm. love and marriage. Let's go. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey, two incomes is better than one. Make sure she has two jobs. Stay woke, Kings. You know what I mean? <laughs> nice. I like that. Okay. Oh, All right. oh, <laughs> okay no this, comment. Number two. Today, ask your man what's something he's scared of, and if he doesn't say losing you, what are you scared of? <laughs> hey, that's the realest answer. <laughs> hey, what are you scared of? Hey, you, baby. I'm scared of you. <laughs> All right, number three. If you are cheating, she is divorcing you. Yes. Are you okay with that? I mean, I don't want to get no divorce, but if that's what, you know, what we got to do, that's what we got to do. Do you love her? <laughs> yes. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to stay with her? No. They should have went to that marriage conference. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, that was pretty hey, good. The, it's, very the thing is, you got to be careful. You know what okay, I mean? You yeah, you go in, you got a little Valentine date. Hey, you just got to make sure you know who you get married to. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, fellas, you know, if, if, you're, if you're hurting, if you need support, wink. <laughs> <laughs> like comment i love my girlfriend or slash wife and we know what this that's a signal oh we'll reach gosh. out to you we'll send some help <laughs> okay all right that's pretty good omar that's a, that's a high standard there let's see if aaron oh, make a uh, make a answer to this ready two i know aaron got the good ones he says you want you have anything to say about yours you first one huh Anything to say? Any motif or? Um, motif? I, I wasn't that prepared with like themes and everything, but okay, here we go. We'll, we'll check it out. Let's see. Online dating as a Christian is hard. In today's dating apps, make navigating a Christ-like relationship that much harder. Mm. That is until now. Introducing Tinder Heart, online dating <laughs> the way God intended. On Tinder Heart, we deprioritized physical attraction, okay. so there are no pictures. With must and temptation <laughs> removed, our users are truly able to see someone's heart. When I met Levi on Tinder Heart, I knew God was asking us to wait until marriage. Now that we've met in person, oh, I know God. he's asking us to wait post-marriage, too. <laughs> post-marriage? You know, I, <laughs> I wanted in a Christian woman. She's submissive. She's a woman. A woman? She's a woman. <laughs> Your purity is important. So we've added in features built into Tinder like to protect against extra voidiness. We removed the eggplant, peach, and kiss emoji, <laughs> and we added a built-in software that alerts your accountability partner if you're being promiscuous while messaging. Tinder heart. Give me a baddie god. Baddie god. Download for free. I love daddy today. god. I can't stand that. <laughs> Give me a baddie god. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Daddy god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wow. Hey, bro, that's what your algorithm showing oh you, bro. My God. Hey, but then I try to download the app. Did yeah. you download it or no? <laughs> Let's see your phones. Come on, Beth. You can't just Tinder Heart. Travis, oh no pressure. All right, let's check it. He's all, no, I just got the regular Tinder. <laughs> How many swipes a day do you do? Oh, my gosh. All right. Here we go. Number two. You got that premium. It's been a while, y'all, but I'm back. <laughs> New year, new me. <laughs> That's me every morning, bro. Wow. Yeah, every like morning. That. Hey, if That's... you can't get a girl, go get a chicken sandwich. You know what I mean? That's the next best thing, baby. <laughs> All right, number three. Oh, oh God, hasn't spoken to you yet? Oh, oh. You sure? I ring by spring. 
<laughs> no? Okay. 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 Yeah, so um, I, I feel a little uncomfortable telling you this, but you know, the other day we were in service and uh, I looked over and I, I saw you worshiping and I, I just felt Daddy God put it on my heart that, oh, you know, gosh. I should come and talk with you because, um, you know, I, I brought my dream journal. Can I get that out real quick? Yeah, I felt like a few weeks ago Daddy God gave me a prophetic dream and he showed me that there was going to be a girl in church and that I was going to see her worshiping and then we were going to get married. Is that crazy or what? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty crazy, right? I mean, and so obviously, you know, um, you know, ask you out and everything. And uh, I did buy this ring. Um, I, I think you'd like it. It's, 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 it is from Walmart, you know, but you know, what, what can I say? I'm working for the kingdom of God. So, you know, we, we'll do better one day after we're, you know, we're on TV and on Christian TV, oh and, you know, gosh, co-writing no. books with my con or whatever. I just feel like for this season, you know, we, we should probably just trust God and we should probably just like, you know, just get moving on this because I mean, <laughs> I mean, we, we graduate next year, so. <laughs> I'm fasting. <laughs> I'm fasting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I'm fasting. Wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes, Daddy that God. That awful. <laughs> I just saw that triggered you right there. Oh, 100%. Why did that trigger you? That whole thing just took me right back to Bible school completely. Oh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Where'd you go to Bible school? Um, Name them. No, I'll leave that unnamed. Name them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of where I went. No, just like the whole ring by spring. Like I went to a, a Bible school and I went to a Christian university. And so it was all about ring by spring. It was Daddy God. I cannot stand that. I don't know you why. Go to LABI. I, thought, I did. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I'm not ashamed. I love my time. I love there. my LABI yeah, friends. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. No, it was great. Yeah, that was just. Yep, that 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 hole right there was a the thing. So, so some potential suitors. Can I use those lines on you? Um, absolutely not. No. <laughs> can. Nope. I'd say goodbye. I, I, what's a, what's a good way to turn somebody down in a good Christian way? How do you, how do you do that? How to turn somebody down? I'm flattered. <laughs> But I'm going to go a different direction. <laughs> I'm going to wow. pray. Let me pray about it. <laughs> let me pray. Yeah, let me pray about it. Get thee behind no. me. <laughs> Get behind me. <laughs> okay. No, or they're like saying, what is it? Um, the Or like using the God card. That was what we called it. Mm. Using the God card. That's a Jesus like to joke. to break up or get together. I yeah. used to use that one. The Lord told me. I don't, I don't see you in my uh, ministry. I can't stand that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Triggered. <laughs> Triggered. Okay, so we had a theme here in the right. in, in the recording, the month of love. Yeah, that's right. February. <laughs> so you guys, you guys didn't know you guys kind of on the same track there a little bit. That's there, right. Hey. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. <laughs> We're all <Telepathy>. winners, <laughs> but okay. we do have to pick a winner today. Okay, so oh, uh, Kayla, who is not here, she is out sick. So uh, we have a Kayla standing. Right. All right, Pete, Kayla. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, yeah, she's out. No, she should be getting her rest, and oh. hopefully, it's peaceful. Uh, rest oh in my peace. Re- mm, good save. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna call a vote now. Here we go. Oh, so, what do you guys think of Vince? We're gonna have Vince and Bethany are going hey. to vote here in the in in the case of a tie. We will break that tie in a unique way. Okay. Ready. So Vince, you're the first one. You're what a guest. So way? we're going to have you vote. What, what made you laugh? The sum total of fight the motif way. of Omar's or Aaron's. Who would you call the winner? I'd have to go with Aaron. Oh, uh, dude. Like you time. are a little Kayla stand in. She's, <laughs> she's a hater, bro. Uh, she's a hater. Yeah. Dang, dude. I can't stand All that right. for her, man. Can't stand okay. That for That's one for Aaron. And Miss Kayla? I'm not Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> man, oh, hey, wow. Put some respect on it, man. Oh, she said it. Oh, dude. That's why I fired Philip as my piano coach. Oh, wow. Dang, not personal. <laughs> that was that like triggered. a daddy god. <laughs> okay, who's the winner here, Miss Bethany? <laughs> oh, thank you, um, Aaron. Oh, <laughs> Aaron, yeah. really? There was no suspense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, but he's approaching a million 
It's okay, his, man. He has the video already. It's fine. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I have nothing. It's all right. I'm going to give Aaron the win, right? Aaron, yeah. you did good. Yeah. I give it up for Aaron. Aaron, good job, Aaron. I like it, Aaron. Hey, you know what? I, the first video I sent was the drive through one to him. No I think. way. Really? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I was like, hey, I said, don't put that one. I should have just did that one. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, it was. Yep. It's your fault. I wanted to use yours against you. Ah. (laughs) (laughs) Inception. He did did text me about that, and I said, wow, we're we're going to open it with that a little bit. That's funny. All right, well, that's it for. But, you know, we are talking about love, you know, and your little jokes here. They were very funny. Okay. But what wasn't funny was somebody got offended here because, well, let me show you. This. Journalist tries to shame a man for proposing in KFC. It backfires as the highest, as the biggest companies offer to fund their weddings. So he was very romantic. KFC maybe it had some significance in their life, but they came out on top. Now they're being, the whole wedding's pretty much paid for. So oh, they try to shame them. Isn't that a great story there? Yeah, wow. that's incredible. <laughs> but here's, you know, he was, here's another one. We're talking about fast food now. Burger King had a, a worker that went viral for a video. She was 27 years a perfect attendance. Dang. Her, Kayla will not qualify because she's not here right now. So <laughs> she's sick. So <laughs> yeah, we've all called Call sick, HR but, on that yeah, shit. HR. <laughs> Do you ever come across anybody for decades with perfect attendance? You don't even uh, know. Let me see here. Oh, no, because everyone's called in at least once. Wow. I bet. Yeah, at twenty. Yeah. Well, this guy went for, for twenty-seven years. Let yeah, me show you what ticket? he. For twenty-seven years. This is what Burger King did for him. Watch. A movie ticket. Thank you very much. And I also got a bag of Reese's. Yeah, I like that. Um, this is very nice. From Starbucks. Thank you, guys. And. Uh, like a lanyard, uh, two pins, and a couple of keys, and, and two lightsabers. Uh, so it's good to show what they, you know, their appreciation for, uh, for loyalty and for all you've done for the company. This is my award for work for 27 years. Thank you, guys. Wow, Bethany, I think everybody feels that. Was that really a gratitude of reward there for that guy? No, absolutely not. No, that was awful. Yeah. 27 years of his life and that's all he gets? Yeah. Like, it just makes me think like, because at my school, I love where I work. I'm very proud of where I work and they treat their employees so well. And just the way that they treated me for being a long-term sub there for six months, like they they did a whole thing for me for six months and I wasn't even a full-time employee. Really? Nice. Yeah. They did a whole thing. Six months. That's 27 years of his life. And that is all he gets. Yeah. Proud of no, proud that's proud infuriating. I can feel that emotion right there. <laughs> that's infuriating. Oh, the bunk <laughs> Were you going to say Aaron right there? I said I would have burned it down. I would have burned that whole thing. Oh, down. okay. Okay. <laughs> Tongue in cheek here. This, that's like... Oh yeah. 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 No, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Omar, <laughs> yeah, in shock. There. I mean, I've seen the video before. It's, it's obviously, it's like, yeah, you wish they would appreciate it more. But I think what stands out the most is his attitude yeah, that's crazy. towards it. Absolutely. You know, yeah, hey, thank you. He said thank you at the end. Of yeah. him. Like, it didn't seem like he was being like, he wasn't being tongue in cheek. Like, he wasn't being like, sarcastic. you know, sarcastic or anything like that. He was just, okay, yeah, I got a movie ticket. I don't know when he's going to go use it. He's always working. But <laughs> <laughs> what if he calls out to go watch a movie? <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay. I can't come and watch it in a movie today. But I don't know, man. It's just, what do you expect? These are like. Yeah. It's, it's fast it's, food. It's, though, too. it's fast food. It's a big corporation. You know what I mean? Most of the time, they just give you a little pat mm-hmm. on the back. You're just, oh, yeah. it, it just clocks a number. Right. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I guess that. For people, if anyone who works in that industry or any type of industry where it's a big, you know what I mean? Like, maybe be mindful of it. Like, if, if there's anyone who watches this, hey, you, corporate guy, <laughs> owner of Burger King, I know you're watching. <laughs> hey, maybe hey, somebody the king. give him some more, uh, the some, king. some more prizes. The king. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. Hey, have it your way. You know what I mean? Right away. Anything? 
Yeah. That's McDonald's um, for them. So oh. in HR, I besides the fire arena, I also do awards, right? I do okay. performance management, really? okay. which is uh, I'm the guy that you come and talk to, or I help you review your performance evaluation every year. Imagine After how scared it, they must go. <laughs> They're in like, am I going to get fired? Am I going to get a bonus? Your supervisor first, then to me. So I just okay. kind of give it a once over. <laughs> But uh, yeah, they definitely could have done a whole lot more. I mean, I have to agree with Omar. I really admire his attitude. Mm-hmm. You know, he was really appreciative and uh, he's just really thankful. You could see the gratitude of having the job and receiving the gift. Mm-hmm. But um, it goes back to, you know, let's go back to 60s, 70s, even when somebody worked for a company for 20, 35 you know, years, you got the gold watch, you got yeah. a nice performance mm-hmm. award. So they could have done a whole lot more. And if I was the CEO of Burger King, I definitely would have highlighted this. I would have, you know, yeah. Uh, recognized him on a lot bigger scale. Cause I mean, you know, we, for the agency that I work for, you know, we give out monetary awards and I've seen them give out a whole lot more than that. Trust me. Yeah. For a whole for you. lot less. So yeah. uh, it's kind of disappointing, you know, mm-hmm. well, not kind of, it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. They, people needed to, there What does the scripture say? Man is worthy was higher and he worked 27 years, but I'm with you. It's, it is fast food. How, how, how high can you really climb the ladder? Some place, you some can be the you manager, can, can be the manager, but he was 27, 27 years. You know, you know, I just really random question here. If you had these three restaurants, KFC, Burger King, McDonald's, who, who will go for KFC? Anybody here? Like, like to eat, like to, to work, eat, to eat, to your favorite, oh, to favorite place, eat. KFC, Burger King, McDonald's. What, what would you pick? KFC. Omar. Oh man. I know. Burger King. No, for sure. No. I'm going McDonald's, double quarter pounder. Okay. <laughs> Burger King. I love the chicken sandwich. Mm-hmm. The original classic. Chicken. The original. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Classic. Aaron? In and out. I mean, McDonald's. <laughs> <In-N-Out>. <laughs> I know you should have named In and Out. Mr. Producer. <laughs> All right. Hey. Okay. McDonald's. It is one. You're a happy meal <laughs> kid. <laughs> well, check this out. Here's a McDonald's uh, theme. 20 years old. This, this hamburger right here. Woman shows what happens when you Ew, leave yeah, a McDonald's that. burger in the bag for 24 years. And there's been a few of these, but it tells you something and how they could just be in your system for quite a while. I just thought it was a little interesting there. I take mine back. I take mine back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to KFC. <laughs> I will go. I love burger beans. The Whoppers are so good. The way they cook them. I hate the fries. That's, they changed it one of these years and they, Never the same. Okay, Whopper, wait. Whopper, on Super Whopper, Bowl Whopper, Sunday, Whopper. Yeah. we stopped at Burger King on our way home. And I am i don't like chicken nuggets, but maybe I'm scarred by McDonald's chicken nuggets because I don't like theirs at all. Mm-hmm. But Burger King's chicken nuggets are actually really good. Yes, they are. They got a nice crisp. Yeah, I had My no idea. I was like, mm-hmm. wow, game yes. changer. Yeah, yeah the chicken fries? Yeah, uh, fries. Little oh, chicken fries? Yeah. Oh, oh, I haven't had those. those. I was just, it was the yes. chicken nuggets. Making me a hungry. They were fire. Guys, we're all like uh, fast food, like aficionados. <laughs> Have you ever tried this? Have you ever tried this? God. Everybody here, side note, behind the scene, everybody ate before we came out, except for me. No, but I also got the wrong order. True. Remember? Oh, you got the That's wrong true. order. Yeah. yeah, you had Travis's uh, order. <laughs> like I said, I was two bites in already, and I was like, well, I'm "No, going sure. back." So yeah, I had a burrito there for me, but it had guacamole on it. And if they're making fun of me earlier, like you don't like guac, you're you're an adult now. I was like, no. Nope. No, no, no. It's pretty gross. Yeah, we'll grow up. <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we should take it off. You can't take off burrito. wet stuff that's it, like mixed with other seeped things in. like that. Yes, seeped in. Yes. <laughs> like, take a mayonnaise. Who likes mayonnaise? I can't stand mayonnaise. It's probably worse I like than mayonnaise. mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise. Bro. I like you don't like know it. any Samoans? Those supposed to love mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, mayonnaise is great. <laughs> they okay. get food with the mayonnaise. They don't even get mayonnaise <laughs> on their food, right? <laughs> Hey, shout out to all my Polly friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to segue into this next one here. <laughs> Let's see. I'll We're help you. Let me, see, let me see you segue to this here. Okay, yeah. So speaking of mayonnaise and <laughs> chest eating. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's going to be some funky milk. <laughs> I'd rather eat mayonnaise than some drug induced. <laughs> <laughs> Breastfeeding, no, what I'm is done. this? I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> the NHS, yes, in the UK, and it's being pushed. And you may have seen this in a lot of viral uh, videos, especially lived on TikTok, kind of show it. Oh. Drug induced trans chest feeding, oh my safe gosh. as milk from mom's claims, claims on the NHS. So this is really being pushed. I mean, I saw this like, I don't know how many times I've been pushed on the news feed that Stop, all the various uh, news man. outlets. And so, and this seems natural. They said it's just as good. Uh, the article will say, just as good. Uh, uh, I, I picked this because we have. I know somebody 
gets really irritated with a lot of these things, uh, Vince. What do you, what's your reaction to this? <laughs> because I'm really big in the chest PD world. <laughs> I'm just really uh, passionate about it. I, I am. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> like, in my spare time, I'm always doing it. Article <laughs> research. Yeah, yeah. You know, actually, I have a hey, product. You, you might need help. your help with the web stuff, Phil. <laughs> Yeah, Phil's designing it for me. Gotta, <laughs> delete my search history. Oh, Aaron's like sponsors on some cream. Ah, I need Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> That's he so said it's too much. He said I can't wrong. do it. Okay. Let's hear it, Vince. Let's hear it. Hear it so why? Uh, well, you know, with this group of people, nothing ceases to amaze me. I mean, just when you think you've heard it all or seen it all, they top it again. So, wow. I mean, I'm just, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what else to say other oh. than... God. Okay. How? Yeah. Isn't this offensive to actual women? Like, because it's what gotta create actual w- women. Like, can you define that for us? Yeah. They, this, they, is they, a, this is offensive to milk. I'd be mad if I was a cow. <laughs> Bro, like for real. I mean, I mean, that was a cow. cow. I can't. Powder milk too. Bro, no. I'd be mad, dude. I, I just. I yeah, I don't know. I'm kind you of. You do know. Like, you just don't want to say. I'm, no, I lost know. for words. What don't you know? Bible college. Like, like what to say? say. <laughs> I don't agree with this at all. I think <clears throat> no. I think that I don't. I just really don't even know what to say. I first off, I actually haven't even seen this post at all. It like hasn't popped up on my socials at all, which I'll I'm thankful lunch, for. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like glad it's not in my algorithm or anything. But um, no, I feel like it's just it's just another thing that just strips a woman of, you know, who they are and their identity and like what women were created for. And it's just but, but with, it's already what's been happening. This is not a new <laughs> thing. Like a women aren't women anymore. And Men aren't men anymore. Let me tell you this: what what really shocked me is not just the the you will consider the conservative or the Christian outlets. On the other side, they're celebrating this. Oh, they're right. like, "This is what women. I am a woman," and they're crying, very emotional. I want to be able to give. I mean, I'm not mocking. I know we're having fun, but it's confusion. This is this is like it continues. It continues this woke wokeism thing. It's a cult. Is, is, is gone too far and here's a little bit of a reminder oh, uh what's happening our children are being uh impacted or indoctrinated let me share this a little bit of it's just a little from the outside somebody recorded this yeah that looks like it's out of school bro it's a school no, it is that looks like it's out of school bro yep that is and this is ongoing and now if somebody is Living their lifestyle is one thing, but when, when you start impacting our schools and our kids, I think there's a line. And of course, trying to tell us how to think and what to believe. So, any other thoughts on this, Mr. Aaron? I would have got kicked out of that school. I got <laughs> kicked out. Yeah. It yeah. seems like a fetish, right? To me, when you see That's men word, do yeah. stuff like that, <clears throat> when I see men do things like this, when they are like, what is it called? Where they're where they show it out in public. It's like a... um, Like a statement? It's not even like a statement. It's like an exhibition of their fetish, you know? And so Mm. go through that guy's web web history. Mm. Go through the other guy (laughs) who's chest feeding or whatever. I'm not even who's... That's disgusting, bro. Well, not like, I mean, I'll just be honest with you. And now they're around kids, though. Yeah, exactly. They're around kids. Yeah. You know? And now I can't... I can guarantee you that... (laughs) So I'm gonna, the the I saw this going back to the other one to kind of UK is saying they're you know, they're celebrating you know chest feeding. What about the questions being raised, the chemicals, the, the yeah, hormones that's what was coming in the to milk? My mind. It ain't like, there. They healthy? know it ain't there. No, they're lying. The poison, poisoning the kids. Yeah, it's yeah. being transferred to the baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everything that you put in it goes. That's to the what's honey. so concerning. Like, there's a reason why God created women and men the way that they are. Right. Like with women, like, you know, we're all adults here, like there's breastfeeding and there's so much there are so many nutrients through that. Oh. How can you create a chemical that is healthy when you are chest feeding the children? I just don't see how that's healthy at all. And there's no way that they know ev- that 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 
all of this stuff in there is actually going to be healthy for the child. That just doesn't make yep. no, any, they just, any they sense know, to my brain They at all. know. They do they know. They just, there's, there are, Absolutely. there are people appointed to jobs and roles that are unelected people. These are people who've gotten mm-hmm. there for whatever, and they have their own, I don't even want to call it an agenda, but they have their own worldview and they thrust it upon mm-hmm. society. And when you say the NHS, it's like, wow, it's, you know, things used to mean Things used to mean something to people. Right. The FBI, the CIA, the NHS, FDA. But when you really get down to it, these are people with agendas that are following money or they have their own worldviews and they just stamp it and they make us swallow all that stuff and thinking like, Like oh, oh, remember that? That's that's really trusted, right? The FBI, Mm -hmm. NHS, that means something. Not no more. Not no more. Mm -hmm. I can have drug drug induced Coke Zero come out of my body. That's what Philip drinks. According to <laughs> he can get it straight yeah. from the source. Yeah. Sugar free. <laughs> <laughs> straight, from the, straight from the source. <laughs> 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 no, no, but seriously, I'm sorry. That's no, no, no. Uh, the, okay, the, the main thing people always have was like equality and acceptance. Mm-hmm. Like, and I understand, like, okay, that's what you want, but like, it should be then for everybody. Like, okay, you want us to accept and, and be equal, then accept and be equal with our beliefs as well. Yeah. Like, right? Why can that be allowed in the school, but now FCA can be allowed in the school? Like, all, all these things. Like, it's, it's just. Are they it's, taking FCA out of school? Yeah. Like, here in Clovis, they took it out. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, they're still allowed out. Where you can meet, family you can meet, yeah, you can meet like all uh, the school district is getting yeah. wild. I've heard that's sad. I didn't know, I thought it was more concerning. But I agree, yeah, likewise, so I. I agree. But, it's, but separate. Like, it's like the same thing, like, all right, so you want us to accept those things, but you can't accept everything else, like, it's hypocritical in a way. So, mm-hmm. yeah, um, Jackson, he used to run uh, FCA, oh, okay, and they even went to the the school board meeting. Pastor went to Pastor Anthony, went oh, really just to you know show face, but yeah. It was already a done vote. It was all because they were like wanting to start like a uh, like a, some like weird like devil club like weird. Oh, club. that's right. That's oh, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 something about that. Mm-hmm. And so the, the the school district didn't know what to do about it. So FCA said, let, "Let us have both. Like let them have their club, but let us have our club. Yeah. And let's see who well, don't comes matter. Out and I was like, "Hey, that's bad. That's 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 awesome." Mm-hmm. But wow. the district voted that there no one can meet. Like if they're gonna have that's uh, freedom of religion. If they're gonna have a club, then they have to meet off campus or and like so the teachers no can FCA be no FCA and no Satan club. Nothing. Either. Okay. okay, that's so they when, were when across that? the board then. Huh? Yeah, be coming to the school year. That's uh, yeah, Jackson, that's a right there. That's freedom of religion. He was bummed, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. I passed there and figured who else went from the. Well, get rid of all the clubs. They now have no the Rainbow Club. No, that's what they the did. The Glee Club. They the did. Drama oh, so the school has club. no clubs at all. See. If you're, gonna have, if you're gonna have wow. them, you have to meet um, apart from school and like. But here's the thing: staff, like, they shouldn't have did that. Like, so that's not even equal yeah, across the board. You want to know why? Because it's just like now the Devil Club gets what they actually wanted: no club. Yeah. They don't want. So you know what yeah. I mean? Whatever the the Satanist club, that's fine. They 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 don't mind not having one because they already didn't have one. And so now their thing is just like, good, now there's no Christian nobody club on campus. So nobody either. gets to have anything. So then yeah. they they win. The one club does win in the end, and it's the Satanist club. But in the end, then, we got another club that wins. Yeah, you know I mean? Hey, Club Jesus, we're up in this thing. We're going to win. That's why I love the FCA stands. And, They're like, yeah, yeah, they don't have their club. And, I was like, and, okay. and you know what? Here's the thing. The students, the, boys are the students, hey, huddle up. Meet me out here. We're going to still meet. You can't stop us from hanging out yeah. and doing yeah. a thing. Like, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? You can't. Yeah. But guess what's going to happen? The NAACP is going to come up. Or, or we can't have the Black Student Union or anything like that. Or we can't have the Hispanic Club, Mecha, whatever. I don't know if they still do those kind of things. Cool, you know what I mean? Wow. Like, you can't stop the Mexicans from eating. Or like the Asians, you know what I mean? Yeah. The Hmong Club. We used to have Hmong Clubs. In our, yeah, our, you know? So you're going to stop the races and everyone's from eating. It's true, though. Isn't it like what you said? Isn't that taking away their freedom? That's in a way, religious liberty, freedom. yeah, yeah, religious freedom. Oh, you guys want another story? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, they're you. gonna get sued. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, like, Aaron's got the cheese man. What's up? Yeah, you can, Aaron knows. <laughs> All right, so my brother, my brother, he was pissed, uh, and he he, he told me that <laughs> my my niece goes to junior high, <laughs> so they were celebrating Black History Month, 
I, I, I laughed. Oh I made gosh. jokes out of it. There's something <laughs> Black History Month, right? And so my brothers like taught my niece to be very open-minded, accepted to everybody. Like so, she has like a a very you know well-rounded group of, of friends of mm-hmm. different races, different mm-hmm. you know um, economic um, background. Yes. Like this yeah. really cool, cool, cool group of friends at school. And so they were gonna go because they're gonna have food for Black History Month. So they go to the place where they're going to have food yeah. and they stop my niece and some of the students are like, oh no, this is just for the black students. Ooh. You can't do that. And so my niece calls my brother, my brother is heated. He was like, he uh. wanted to go to the school and all this stuff. And it was just, um, it was a, it was a bad. A bad yeah. <laughs> what were they having for lunch? That's my joke. <laughs> that, was my joke. <laughs> that was my joke to my brother when he told me. That's what we really want to know. <laughs> it's like, where is it? <laughs> Don't you can see it. it. You can saw it coming. I saw it coming from a while. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was also, um, they're going to do tacos or what? I was like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's hey. like, hey, that tacos. <laughs> you hungry again? I'm preaching at my church on Cinco de Mayo. You are? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> All I knew was like, oh, Omar, you're going to be preaching in May. I was like, oh, wow. It's my first time speaking at the church we go to. Um, and I was just like, all right, cool. Thank you. And I looked at the, we were in the office. I looked on, I was like, so you got to pick the one Mexican to come to the church and I get to speak on Cinco de Mayo. Uh, <laughs> you guys are sick. I said, but I'm going to do it. The token. I said, okay. and, it's, and it says it's communion Sunday. So we're going to do communion. <laughs> we're going to have some sangria <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to have a little <laughs> like some pan dulce right there you know what I mean <laughs> nice. man Love everybody's it. getting hot in all these topics here okay, so uh, let's kind of lighten it up again uh, so it's crazy yeah you all transition these things however you want <laughs> you did pretty good in that may- mayonnaise one that was pretty, good. That was pretty <laughs> gross Okay, so I want to know: Would you guys? How would you guys handle this situation? If you guys are part time making a making minimum wage, and it's cold and it's hot, you are still doing the same job. This is what this one girl happened to this one chick. Oh, oh yeah. got him! Got him! Yeah. Got him. Good for her. Yes. Was she justified, Mr. Omar? He sounds like. A- oh, yeah. She justified, man. Hey, she's sanctified too. <laughs> <laughs> she's watching. And she did this. it in Jesus' name. She said, You ain't doing that to me. Not today, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> that's so rude, man. So rude. No, no, what is the point? Oh you, that's, you literally see the girl with the little. <laughs> you gonna throw something at her? What'd she do? Yeah. Yeah. That's messed up, man. So, you can't just be treating people this 14 like second clip went viral. Her name was Anna. Cannot pronounce her last name. She was power washing, and this is what happened. She didn't know what was in there. Was she, that person threw mm-hmm. lemonade, and you never know what they're throwing at. But oh, that was yeah. completely. She justified. You're, you're very nice, and you turn the other cheek all the time, and <laughs> try to have peace with everybody. Mm-hmm. I think you would did it. <laughs> so, oh, I definitely probably oh. would have. Yeah, no, that was not okay at all. No. no, you hear like these horror stories. Like it's exactly what you said. Of you never know what they are throwing at you. You mm-hmm. just you don't, and that's that's actually a really scary situation. I don't love that. So I would have absolutely probably sprayed them back too. And I'm Kayla like, would have jumped. Paid enough. Yeah, Kayla uh, would have jumped on the. the, the Kayla probably <laughs> would have been given them a good slap on the face. Uh, <laughs> Kayla's not here to defend no. herself. Slap, man. but you had your hands no, closed. Yeah, I'm in this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kayla would have sprayed them back too. Kayla can comment. Yes, you would. And mm-hmm. and Vince, you would have just like prayed for them. Said, no, thank you, sir. What, what uh, yeah, you? I would have just, you know, it's okay. I'm HR, sorry. please. <laughs> no, she was absolutely in the right. I mean, yeah. common sense tells you you're going to a car wash. Gee, I should roll my window up. Mm-hmm. And I have my window down as someone's pressure washing my car. No. Again, roll the window she, up. She sprayed the window initially. Right. But and the window was already up. No, they rolled down like the, the window, window was, okay, and then they point. threw the lemonade, and mm-hmm. then she sprayed them. She there went, again. watch, look at the window's oh, already yeah, the up window right is. now. They roll it down. And then, oh, okay. then so they first throw glance, it. it looked like so, it was down. So they just harassed Ooh. her for no reason. Yeah. yeah. That's all the more reason that she was in the right. But yeah. I love how mm-hmm. she finished pressure washing the rest of the I know, right? That's why there you I go. I would have given her a raise. You know, I would have been employee of the month. Of my I know. She I gets the parking she stall. I would have been so mad. I probably would have smacked their car. And she just went, okay, good. She went on the last 27 years. 
<laughs> no. <So> 2070 <laughs> for a movie ticket. Aaron, any thoughts on that? You you would be nice, right? I would have drank the lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, what I? He would have had his cup oh out my like gosh. this. He'd drink the lemonade. Drip. He'd drink the lemonade. The um, yellow snow. There goes there. He's back at it again. <laughs> Filthy Phil. There he is. <laughs> Dude, line crosser, bro. Habitual <laughs> line <laughs> crosser. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh Charlie well. Murphy. <laughs> uh, well, we're having a great time here at Delusion. So we have another uh, our next segment, one of our favorite ones. Oh, here we God. go. It's time for Crime for Crazy. With Aaron. Uh, first sponsor, thank you for uh, supporting us. We are very appreciative. Uh, but <laughs> this is a, a wonderful instrument. If you rode on these, you for sure uh, got a tetanus shot. Um, <laughs> if you didn't, I, I'm telling you, I'm letting you know, you need to go get a tetanus <laughs> shot because it's just rust and metal. And uh, it was just amazing to be able to ride on that thing fly off, get a mild concussion, and then go to math at the recess. You're like, oh, confused. But uh, for some reason, at my school, like when I would get on, it wouldn't go that fast. But um, so you had to push really hard. Uh, it wouldn't go that fast. <laughs> they always had me as mandatory spinner, never rider. <laughs> Mandatory <laughs> designated hey, spinner. I didn't put somebody in the middle right there. Like you sit there, I you hold on. I'm all tired. I'm all, hey, let me ride it once. And then no. <laughs> Not right now, Aaron. Oh, the bell ring. It's time to go in, me. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. But it's Friday. Tomorrow never again. <laughs> it's Friday. He's still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go get a merry-go-round, oh bro. Gosh. We gotta, we gotta do this for you. Hey, go find me. Aaron, <laughs> bring him back. Backyard. Bring him back, please. All but right. that's our first sponsor. Second sponsor. This is gonna trigger a lot of issues. Um, if you oh, grew up in oh. church, you know how annoying these things can be. Oh, hey, um, man. If you led worship, you, sound tech, you yeah. know how annoying these things can be. Um, I, I, I knew this hermana in church. Like she was like John Wick with them. Like she would have one, John Wick. and they would take it away, and then I got another. She goes, ah, I got another one. Like, it was amazing. I love John Wick, by the way. Like the only the only reason why you should have one of these is is because when I grew up in church, our, our youth leader he would throw it in the air. And like for me, that was like our commercials during service. Because wow. like you're bored, like you're a little kid, and I would what? just watch them during worship. And you know, they'd be like, this is the day, this is the day. And then just, boom. And then he just catch him. Da, 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 With his team. Oh, so he was like doing tricks. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Oh, I thought he was just tossing, like playing. No, he was in the worship in, set. In the set, bro. And I just wow, love it. That's crazy. I would just, watch, I'd just be watching him just ready. He was like, oh. Two tambourines on his kneecaps. So he would catch bang, it and bang. just continue going, without bro. skipping. Oh, that's a weird flex, bro. Wow. <laughs> that's a weird that's, flex. That's a weird flex. <laughs> it's a church flex, bro. <laughs> A but weird one. That's our second wonderful team? sponsor tonight, the wonderful tambourine. May you never bring that to church. <laughs> oh, Amen. Uh, but this is our, our, our third. Oh, and, uh, oh my gosh. Oh. If you grew up in a Hispanic church yes. uh, Iconic. household, you know that painting right there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the Iconic. Last Supper. Yeah. Uh, your grandma couldn't even name the disciples, but she had <laughs> the Last Supper. Cool. Um, if you were like the, the, the golden uh, grandson, your, your picture was either stuck in the frame there yeah, so I, <laughs> some, law, some, some lawyer's business card that she didn't want to lose was stuck on the other. immigration attorney yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then for some reason she had the mirror because no one was that tall but hey mira they had the mirror but that mira. that last supper painting is everywhere and it's like the lord was there it's like yeah. the, about the, wood. the tinsels right there i, I know that's yeah, iconic too, too. Oh, that was from when I was a baby. I used to be like that. right there. Oh my God. My, my school. <laughs> I cannot. Wow. Stand you. <laughs> Stand you. <laughs> Those are wonderful sponsors tonight. <laughs> Hey, and uh, thank you. That's I see something here. online. It says like, oh, yeah, Jesus goes to the restaurant. Now, can I get a table for 24? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Well, there's only 12 of you. Oh, yeah. We're all going to be sitting on one side. <laughs> like, you're thinking yeah. they're always on one side of the table. What, man, you guys they suck. are. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. well, I'll give it up for Aaron and Aaron's sponsors. Good job, Aaron. Of course. There you go. All right. 
How you feeling, Vince? Good. Uh, let's go back to that first sponsor real quick. Oh, we got to go. Oh, oh watch out. was that. talking about always being the permanent pusher and, oh. you know, just some of the injuries that came along with that. Let's but go. that first sponsor was amazing. So I don't know about <laughs> yeah. how many of you, you know, if any of you guys ever came out with the concussion, uh, you know, being the pusher <laughs> and then getting tripped up on your own feet, taking uh, the time. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. And I was also oh, yeah. the person, you know, hanging on. And then, of course, someone helped. Your fingers get loose. That's right. It so uh-huh. happened and, you know, flying off. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so that you have trauma that triggered you right there? Yeah, we brought back <laughs> some memories, you know. Nostalgia. And, uh, oh, yeah. I, I liked, uh, what are those, the tires? You, they make, I don't know how they made the tires, swings, but you spin really, really fast. You really, really. Uh, oh, those are fun. I'll throw up on that vein. <laughs> Oh, they had the three chains coming. There you down go. There you go. The uh, chains. Yeah, he, he the gets in the center. pinched by the chains uh-huh. and everything. The chains. Ooh, ouch, yeah, yeah, our neighbor put one up in, uh, on our tree between our house. The chains. The chains. Everyone got the chains. <laughs> got a shame. The tire would always hit me in the shin and the chin. You always confuse the ch with the sh, and you're just like, yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, really uh, this is uh, our, go our problems here in Central California. Uh, anyways, but well, thank you so much. We had a great time here, Vince. So how do you feel about about today? Your first time here? Yeah, oh, I really enjoyed it. You know, thank you guys for having me. Um, this was awesome. Mm-hmm. You know, again, I got to give it up to those sponsors. Those sponsors really brought That's back cool. a lot yeah. of memories. You know, <laughs> yeah. I saw you, you shed, a, shed a tear there. Yeah, <laughs> the tambourine as a sound. You're a sound technician at church and. Luckily, we don't have that problem with tambourines right yeah, now. Yeah, no, I, I think we're we'd praying. have to mute that one all the time. I'm just going to take <laughs> mute it. Or allow that microphone. Take them out. Yeah. But Regulated. so, so Bethany, if you yeah. can look in that camera right there and tell them what they could do to follow us and all that good stuff. Yeah. If you want to listen to the Diligence podcast, we are on all platforms. So YouTube uh, to go watch the podcast. You can see all of our awesome faces. Make sure you subscribe, follow, comment. Um, also Spotify, uh, what is it? Apple podcasts and all the places rumble as well. Go watch and listen, but on all of these platforms, make sure that you subscribe and follow and then share on your socials as well. Share. Yeah, no, I have the correct diagraph. Oh, my name. Diagraph. Okay. Oh, my top. Share. <laughs> 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 go follow and comment please we love it thanks all right good job bethany and we're gonna have some announcements soon uh, again next time we'll have episode 10 wow. and we'll hopefully be having in maybe the spring and the summertime we're gonna have a launch party we have some live events and if you're interested uh, if you're in this area and you want us uh, come meet us live we're gonna do a show live with with a bunch of us Wow. Alive. Sick. Yeah. Did you say we lunch? Be, Did you say alive. lunch or lunch? Alive, not unalive. <laughs> you said lungs. <laughs> a lunch party? A, a lunch. Oh, a lunch. A, oh, a lunch. 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 Yeah. Okay. Gosh, thank yeah. gosh. Yeah. Thank God we have a We're going to have a, a cater. We're going to have somebody cater maybe that day. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, thank you. Uh, so we're going to have a good time. Good. Yes. And it'll be a crossover <laughs> happening sometime soon. Also, crossover. and then, of course, the companion show, Parabolic Poets. you hear more about that. With some great interviews and uh, some guest spots, we'll be interviewing a lot of our co-hosts too. So I get behind the scene uh, information about them. Omar's deepest, darkest secrets, of course. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, so again, thank dark. you for joining us here at Delusions Podcast. <laughs> Nah, you're supposed we're to just trying, say we're delusion. We're again. <laughs> hey, bro. Get Kayla back. Get Kayla back. Again. <laughs> Kayla, we need you. Uh, hey, uh, hey I, hope I, hope I hope you're RIP and Kayla. <laughs> and, but we need you back. Whatever. <laughs> and of course, the wife will be back uh, next time. The wife? <laughs> the wife. The yeah, wife. Yeah, the ball and chain. <laughs> Wow. He said it. Hey, I did not say that. Me. And Esther, a shout out to Esther who let Vince come. Yeah. Thank uh, you, honey. Hey, <laughs> let's go, yeah. Esther. Yeah. Okay, car Easter's in other places. But okay, so uh, let's try it again. So thank you for joining us here on Delusions. 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 <laughs> Here and everybody, thank you, Travis Hunt, for being part part yeah, of the team too. Oh. Yeah, see, you. Yeah, see you. See you next time.
with us on the Delusions Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the podcast on your favorite platform. By doing so, you'll never miss an opportunity to dive deep with us again, and you'll help us grow our community of curious minds. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time on Delusions. Delusions. Daddy. Yeah, I get mine. God. So cringy. Daddy God. Hey, did you know that um that that guy, Aaron, this guy Aaron Ransom, he does all these videos, right? And he goes, Oh, we're here. I'm the at the lead entrance of Daddy's International Daddy God's International Church. You know, I'm the uh he always makes fun of it. We're the uh, global pastor. (laughs) <laughs> and then he has another guy. He plays another guy who does. Uh, he says, "Yeah, I'm the security guy at whatever at, at Daddy's house." <laughs> well, somebody went on the Assemblies of God, the Arizona District's website, on their Google site, and um, for whatever they must not have owned like their their Google information yet, and so uh, they haven't claimed their business. And so somebody went on and renamed the Assemblies of God Arizona, uh, Daddy God Arizona Assembly of God. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. And the, and the district had, a re- they released a video. They're like, hey, we have no, we did not change our name to Daddy's House uh, International <laughs> Assemblies of God. <laughs> we are working with pastor, the global, so the global funny. senior pastor and the sec- head of security to uh, secure our site, and you know they That's did. They had fun with it, you know. That's it, was, it was just so funny. At least they had like, fun with it. <laughs> yeah, they were yeah. good sports. At least it wasn't something like bad. Mm-hmm. I, I'm in I the. Know. For those who don't know, I'm in the kind of the creative, as a field. What's the word? Creative without giving away my business, but I do websites. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Everyone does websites, bro. Do websites. You're not giving it away. Yeah, there you go. I just did a website. So I've seen some hacks that are really have been dirty. They've been kind of like you think you could be flagged for like, you know, national security. And so like they get malware and all these things. They upload all these pictures. Of, yeah, I've seen some crazy things. So oh you do got to watch out. Piggy sponsored with Aaron. Oh wait, did you just do that right now? <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. Hey, so that is your voice then? <laughs> Does Aaron need a jingle too? <laughs> he needs a jingle. Huh? Ready. Dang, my boy. What? Oh, you want me to make one up? The the oh, what should we do? What's it, what, 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 what style? Reggae. Reggae. Oh. I don't even know. How to do reggae. The blood. <laughs> Disney. Disney. <laughs> Disney princess. Oh, man.